expecting not to get the win, but I suppose as a response from Boxing Day, you, you've got to be pleased. Yeah, I think the, the people that came to the game today, they would have seen um, a spirited performance. Uh, and then on another day, I think the three chances that, uh, that Willow has, uh, hit the target with, with one of those, uh, we can come away. Um, good character, going a, a goal down uh, very early in the game. I showed, again, good character, good belief. Um, again, I don't think they dropped us. I think they have a penalty. Apart from the penalty, I think, can't really remember Dai making a save. I think the one shot went over uh, from a ricochet from the, from the long throw. Apart from that, no. Yeah, let's talk about the start of the game then, because uh, you're looking for a, a big response to, um, to what happened to Crawley. A minute and a half in, um, you can see the penalty. Jordan Turnbull were lucky maybe not to get a red card as well. Were you fearing the worst or do you, you still believe in the character of your side? Yeah, no, I still believe. Um, yeah, I think the disappointing thing is ball goes into the goalkeeper's, uh, goalkeeper's hands. No one stops him from throwing it out. Then he throws it out and we get, we get people back. But being back isn't enough. <laughs> you've got to get back and you've got to mark people. And then one straight ball through our defence. Uh, not right. Um, I don't think it was a penalty, I think it was a, I think it was a foot outside. But having the next referee here is probably staying different. Um. <laughs> let, 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 let me tell you, it, it, was a, it was a good job it was a penalty because if it had been a foot outside, Turnbull and walking, and you don't want to lose a man after a minute at uh, that time, you'll probably take the penalty kick. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, well, that's why I, I, uh, I said that to Colin West. Colin West said uh, uh, Jordan should have brought him down before he got to uh, anywhere near the box. And I was like, well, uh, in the first minute, no, I wouldn't have. Uh, because I think, well, 11 v 11, we're still back ourselves against anybody. Um, so, yeah, no, we have to make a decision, um, an honest decision. Uh, and as you said, yeah. a great character to come back. Jordan Turnbull as well, get the equaliser. And you went on to really dominate that second half and just couldn't quite find the opening. Yeah, I think we had a 20 25 minute spell where um, we had them and we just needed that ball to break. We, we had not, got good balls into the box, things, things weren't just dropping for us. The reason thing is that they cleared the ball, we landed on the second ball. They cleared, you know, we put the ball back in, they, uh, they cleared it, we get landed on it again. And you know, that's what we want to do. We want to have that tier and attack um, with our full forward play. You know, if one option doesn't come when, when the ball comes out, then we land on the second ball. So first half, we didn't do that enough. We were too, uh, too, if anything, getting too many people forward at the wrong time. We played with David Scott, it, uh, with, uh, with Sam Hoskins and Paul Anderson as uh, advanced midfield players. But both of them were going at the same time. Um, you know, we needed to have that uh, that tier uh, in our midfield, which we didn't have in the early stage in the field, and that's why some of them midfield players were picking up balls on the wrong side uh, of, Ryan's, of, of Ryan Watson. Um, something we were able to address, and I think that helped us in the second half when we did have the dominance. When we did clear it, we landed on the second balls rather than being open and expansive. Uh, and you can almost guarantee that first ball was going to be won by Vidae and Oliver. Man of the match again today, he's proven to be a, a real weapon for you. Yeah, no, the, uh, yeah, um, yeah, he is. And uh, again, I think with the attacking, the attacking play, it's slightly different. You know, we're playing Sam Hoskins as a, a centre forward, and though he's, he's a, a wide midfield player, we're playing them in midfield with Ryan Watson, who hasn't had a, a lot of game time. So I'm not saying makeshift, because I think their work ethic excellent. Um, and I think we could probably, you know, as the game went on, I thought we were getting better understanding and more relaxed on the ball when we did land on the second ball and we were entering into their final third, first half. I thought we were disappointed. Good energy, good enthusiasm, good understanding of where we wanted to get to. But then when we got there, I thought we gave the ball away too cheaply. And we, if we didn't have that composure in the second half, I thought we did that. And uh, when we attacked, they cleared it. We landed on the second balls and we picked better passes to get the ball in. And then again today, that, that, uh, that final ball into the cross or the finish that we were looking for didn't quite happen. Some of the combinations didn't quite come off. I think they won a lot ahead of us. But we didn't get on second, sorry, we didn't make second contact enough. Um, you went for Dyke now, back in goal today. What was the thinking behind that? Um, I thought that today was going to be a game where the Dye's uh, distribution was going to be important. I think we needed to get up the pitch. We needed to have that, ac uh, that accuracy uh, in his you know, kicks onto, onto the day so that then we could uh, put more people in the air uh, to land on the second balls. Um, you know, Dye would be disappointed because I think today, apart from the penalty, uh, he would have earned a clean sheet. Um, this game is a symbolic game in the way that it's, I suppose you're, you're half, exactly halfway through the league season now. What's your assessment of the, the first 23 games? Uh, I think, being honest, I think we've uh, improved, but there's still a long way to go, and there's still improvement, and that's not, that's not only from within the changing room. Uh, I think on the 
the field of play, there still needs to be uh, a level of improvement. I think the attitude in the changing room has massively changed. Uh, the attitudes towards games uh, and performances and training has definitely changed. Um, and again, there's still room for improvement quality-wise, and there's still room to bring people in, uh, additions into the football club that will add to the progression. So yeah, I think we're on a we're on an upward curve. Uh, I think we've. Um, change the direction uh, the mentality uh, of the football club uh, on the playing side definitely I think off the pitch I don't think the club needed to change I think it's run very very well and I think people behind the scenes have got a good understanding of how, how myself Colin and the football staff want to work and I've got to say uh, how they've aided us and allowed us to, uh, to, uh, to work in the environment that we, that we feel is right uh, is credit to them. Um, just before we talk about Stevenage, uh, just a word on Sean McWilliams and, and Harry Smith. They obviously look serious uh, on Boxing Day. What can you tell us uh, about those two? Well, they've both been for scans. Um, due to the Christmas period, we've been able to get the scans done. But the Hallamon reported on in detail will wait until tomorrow. Um, so it'll probably be tomorrow afternoon they find out the extent uh, in more detail about both injuries. So probably. Uh, on Monday or Tuesday I'll have uh, slightly more information there. Um, let's look ahead then, New Year's Day, Stevenage, uh, bottom of the table, the old cliche goes they'll be scrapping for everything and of course you need the points as well, what, how do you think that one's going to go? Again, I think we need to earn the right to play, and again I think we started at the start today um, and then got on the front foot and I think that 25, 25 minute period that, 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 that we had, I've got to say you've got to give credit to um, uh, the, today for Cheltenham, um, we've got people on the line, we've got the you know, good blocks, um, they, defend, uh, they defended well because we didn't get that clear out, even though we had uh, Willow hitting the, sh uh, hitting the post, uh, the Dane having a chance at the back stick, things bouncing around in their box that we didn't quite get uh, land on, but we've got to give credit to them, they landed on it, we showed good design. They, again, I think, we, I think they're probably the only scare that we had was like two long throws that they, uh, they put into our box. And they, uh, they're a team that pride themselves on how they want to play um, and to cause the opposition problems. I think yeah. we saw today we can stand up to that. We're brave enough to stand up, we're brave enough to go 1v1, 2v2, 3v3 at the back uh, and they didn't break us down. Um, one scrum, uh, one scrum was from, um, uh, from, from one of two long throws and apart from that they had one shot over the bar from, uh, um, from a set, from a set, uh, from a, uh, from a throw. -in. Apart from that, uh, I thought we had a good account. Uh, and just a final one on Stevenage again. Obviously, um, they pushed Exeter all the way. They've got a, a new manager, if you like, to go. He's his fourth uh, time in charge of, of Stevenage. So I suppose you've got to be aware of that that new manager bounce as well. Yeah, yeah um, I know Graham. We played against, uh, coached against Graham uh, and his team uh, quite often. Um, I think you could probably describe him as. Uh, Prickly character at times, <laughs> but somebody that I've got on, uh, always got on well with. I've never had a fallout with him, never had an old captain on the side of the pitch uh, with him. Uh, and as a fellow manager, I've got respect for him. Well, thank you very much, uh, Keith.